First up, what is the name of the WNBA in-season tournament? Is it the WNBA Trophy, the Commissioner's Cup, the WNBA Cup, or the Commissioner's Trophy? If you guessed Commissioner's Cup, then congratulations, and here's your VC. Now to the next question. What year did the WNBA debut the Commissioner's Cup? That's a great question. Was it 2000? 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's time to kick off the postseason, round one, game one of the Eastern Conference playoffs. And you can just feel the energy here tonight. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Allie LaForce. And now Indiana's starting group. Miles Turner out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Neesmith, then it's Halliburton, and it's Nimhard in at the shooting guard position. And for Milwaukee, Giannis and Lopez together down low. Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three, and it's Lillard in at the point guard position. Taking a look at Milwaukee, they have home court advantage here, but this could be a tough series for them. And you can see either team advancing from this series. A tough way to start out your postseason campaign for sure. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Connaughton, right side. Smith, Middleton covering. Here's Halliburton. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Damian Lillard picks one up. The young players who come into the league, you want to see if they can bring it every night. Halliburton is certainly fit that bill. both from the line and you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line and when he's on he can be lights out pass to Connaughton back to Middleton down to five on the shot clock shoots over Turner and that one's good Middleton Middleton looking pretty comfortable right now playing in the kick and roll whether it's passing the ball or shooting it right now making good decisions now here's Halliburton and stolen by Connaughton and he lobs it up to the rim and the jam by Anadokounmpo yeah you could throw that pass just about anywhere even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get out of bounds it'll be Bucks ball Bucks ball First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. It's stolen by Halliburton. Soft touch off the glass. Well, if you get a little bit careless around Halliburton, he's very long and very reactive. It steals like that. Here's Lillard. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. for the box. Damian Willard. First free throw is good. There's so many qualities of a lead guard that Damian Lillard possesses on the floor, in the locker room. He really, truly sets the standard. Good on both. 
About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. The two zero two four NBA playoffs won round Eastern Conference Siakam game one. Siakam looking it over. Aston Imhart will be coming up next on Goats International Sports Showdown. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. Yep, that one goes. I love this approach. Getting him involved early and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Wow, here's Halliburton. Pumping in on the layup. Halliburton's got six. Extra sauce on that one, please, Halliburton. Wow. Lillard, left side. Pass to Lopez. Out to Lillard. Over Halliburton. And it's Lillard. That time, all the assist by Lopez. They can't miss. Four for four. And warming up the burner. Time, time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. It's Pacer time. Let's go. Indiana trailing here. Here's Nimhart. Here's Siakam. Can't get it to drop. Collinson outside. Pass to Lillard. The two zero and here's two Middleton. Four NBA playoffs. One round Eastern Conference game. One matchup by is now Smith. streaming on uh, Goats International Sports Showdown. Two zero and two four. four. Lillard with the ball. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And here's Connaughton for three. Pascal Siakam with a rebound. For Indiana, they've gone two for five here in the first. Lopez against Halliburton. Siakam, pass to Demart. Four on the clock. Takes a 13-footer, and he knocks the jumper down. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Here's Lillard. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Top-notch ball handling skills. That's just one of the things separating Lillard from most other point guards. Halliburton for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you got to like how he hustles the guard out on the perimeter. Definitely respecting the shooting ability. Now here's Middleton. Takes the three. That one misses. He's one for three. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. Count it. Two for four from the field now. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. They trail by six. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Six-point game. Pass to Neesmith. Into the lane. Rebounded by Lopez. For Milwaukee, they've gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Here's Middleton. The rebound by Neesmith. Indiana has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Kicks it out to Siakam. Hits a three-pointer. The more Siakam uses a three-point shot, the more it helps his game. It makes him the all-around player he needs to be. Now here's on the Kumpo. Pacers five. Pascal Siakam. First personal five. 
And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. They've been in rhythm from the in-between area. Just keeping things simple and taking what the D gives them. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. The 2024 NBA playoffs one round Eastern Conference game one matchups will be coming up next on Goats International Sports Showdown 2024. He misses the free throw. Well, if you think that Giannis was going to stop working after he won a title, what do you think he's going to do in the years that they don't? This guy continues to be one of the hardest workers in the NBA. And the Bucks making a change here. Beverly's checked in. Toppin, he's checked in for Indiana. McConnell comes in for Nimhart. Good on the second one. Here's Halliburton. Six points for him. Pass to Turner. Launches it. And again! It's the Pacers from deep. Yeah, Halliburton just sees the play before the play. Lillard passes to Anacupo. And that one drops for him. Anacupo's got his third basket on the night right there. That's a great move if you can pull it off, especially against tight defense. McConnell finds Toppin. Five on the clock. Pass to Halliburton. And the foul on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. Second That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Beasley's checked in for the Bucks, And the Pacers also making a change. Smith, he's checked in for Turner. against Beverly. Rejected by Lopez. And that was good. The Bucks have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Now here's Anadokounmpo. 7 points in the game. Knocks down the step back J. Anadokounmpo has got 9. <laughs> They're not messing around. 5 of their last 6 buckets have come from the interior. Passes to Halliburton. Back to McConnell. Five to shoot. Shoots over Beverly. McConnell's shot is off. That's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. And he gets the bucket. 11 points in the game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Passes to Halliburton. Shoots over Beasley. Again, Indiana. Milwaukee calls timeout. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. here for the Bucks. Gallinari comes in for Lopez. And it's Portis in for Anadokounmpo. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Beasley. That one rolls around and rims out. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Halliburton outside. Pass to Neesmith. Good. Oh, great D that time from Portis. McConnell against Gallinari to the paint. Middleton. Count it. Middleton's got his third bucket of the night. They just look so overwhelmed inside. But that's why they continue to get attacked. Halliburton looking for an opening. The three, Smith. Rebound, Milwaukee. Here's Gallinari, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. 
easy to forget that sometimes Gallo is 6'10", so skilled and is aggressive down there, making the D get physical with him. the first. His versatility, at least for Gallinari, is something that's so important for coaches to utilize. He's capable of stretching the floor the way he shoots it. Jackson, he's checked in for Neesmith. Gallinari hits them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Halliburton against Beasley. Smith passes to Halliburton. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Pass to Beasley. Play stop. So whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Now here's McConnell. Yet to see a basket. Pass to Jackson. Toppin outside. Here's Halliburton. Got a hand on it. minute left in the opening quarter. A nice shot by Gallinari. And the Bucks lead by seven. With focus from the big Italian forward out there. Gallinari is used to having to overcome a lot of physical defense. McConnell passes to Halliburton. The shot. Again, Halliburton missing. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. That's great signs to see Chris Middleton get up just like that. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, Gallinari with a steal. Stolen by Jackson. And here's the fast break. Can't be overzealous with Halliburton. When you are, he embraces that and he got the whistle. 13 ball. The first one falls. And both free throws good for Halliburton. Here's Beverly. Still no points. Pass to Middleton. Over Toppin. And that's a good read by Toppin just being in the right spot. Playing solid D. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucks. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. into it here in game one and let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the bucks guys they are looking engaged so far especially on offense well if they wanted to start well this would be it they seized momentum right away and they just didn't let it go in that quarter here's beverly Giannis and Cordes work together inside. Patrick Beverly out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Connaughton in at the small forward position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. 
Here's McConnell, and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They pinned that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Good man. The defender really went after him. T.J. McConnell taking two shots. First free throw is good. Neesmith, he's checked in for Toppin. And so McConnell nails them both. Milwaukee in the lead. Now Lillard. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Pass to Neesmith to the middle. Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Okay, Miles. He's getting aggressive and jamming it in. Siakam against Sonny Dekumpo. He can't get it to go. The Pacers shooting around 41%. Siakam outside. Pass to Neesmith. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. Here's Ana de Kumpo. The bank shot, no good. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's eye. Nimhart has to turn up. Defended by Lillard. McConnell's shot is off. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Portis, the pass to Beverly. Six to shoot. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Here's Ana de Kumpo. The rebound by Turner. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Siakam, pass to Demar. Back to Siakam. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Damian Lillard picks one up. He's shooting more free throws as his career is going on. Siakam wants to get that percentage up. Two shots. good from Siakam. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period. Doing what they can to try to build some momentum. The Bucks making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. That one's no good. The Bucks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Pass to Connaughton. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. Here's Neesmith. Covered by Connaughton. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Nana Dekumpo inside. Working on Siakam. Seems like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Pass to Nimhart. Turner with it. This one for three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And the muscle of Antetokounmpo is impressive. He's just destroying the defense right now. Defensive foul. Pascal Siakam. 
That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Pacers have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Turner inside, covered by Lopez. Offensive board, oh, and the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the foul called on the Milwaukee Bucks. And the defense recognizing that Turner can make this shot, which is why he gets fouled. one misses. When you think about Turner, one of the best shot blockers in the league, who can also score at all three levels. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Tries again. Anacupo can't connect. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot Second has just been foul. unreliable. Indiana trailing here. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And here's Turner from the arc. It's hauled in by Connaughton. Connaughton's got his fourth rebound in this one. And there's the drive. Oh, and Turner with a block. An impressive oh. shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Siakam against Sonny Dekumpo. Giannis to the cup. Shoots over Siakam. Out to the right wing. Here's Nimhart. Back to Siakam. A shot to stop the run. And it's good on the layup. Siakam's got six. Yeah, sometimes I think the 6'9 length of Siakam surprises opponents. He's able to go through or over contact. I like the aggressive approach. He's going to have to be more efficient. From 12 feet. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. And here's Siakam for three. <laughs> no chance. Giannis, too much length. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Neesmith. Pass to McConnell. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. Milwaukee in the lead. Kumpo outside. Lillard against McConnell. Back to Beverly. Just five to shoot. Pulls it in from the elbow. Lopez. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Bucks lead by seven. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez has been in this league for over a decade. Solid effort. Lee Smith passes to Siakam. Turner inside, working on Lopez. Damian Lillard with the rebound. There are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out trying to win this game. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Indiana's gone over three from deep to begin the second. Now a timeout called by Indiana. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. 
that's something they have to address here. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. comes in for Connaughton, and Beasley has subbed in for Beverly. Here's Neesmith. Here's Nimhart. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. Nimhart's got four points now in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And Halliburton has got the ball here for Indiana. They trail by seven. Nimhart, the pass to Toppin. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Toppin's got his first points in this one. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Pass to Beasley. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And you forget sometimes about how gifted Lillard is as a passing guard. You want him running your point. Here's Halliburton. Pacers, good for two more. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Lillard passes to Lopez. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Lillard's got three assists tonight. Lopez close up and gets it done. Halliburton, the pass to Demar. And he lobs it up top. By Toppin. Andrew and for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. Here's Middleton. Yep, that one's good. Middleton's got 10 points. They have no answer defensively inside. Toppin outside. Pass to Halliburton. Back to Toppin. Three pointer. By Lopez. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Gallinari. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Obi Toppin. And Gallo does an outstanding job there getting into the contact as he was shooting. Good from Gallinari. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And the Pacers also make it a change. Jackson is checked in. Gallinari hits them both. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Halliburton, a pass to Smith. Here's Nimhart. And he banks in the layup. Nimhart's got eight. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Lillard against Halliburton. Kalinari for three. The Pacers pull it in. Here's Nimhart. Give him eight points now. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Moving for Indiana, Andrew Nembhard. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. We've got 113 left in the first half of this game. Inside. And it's Portis. That time on the assist by Beasley. 
And the Bucks lead by seven. It's a toughness that Portis brings to the court. He's willing to finish through contact. Pass to Toppin. Here's Jackson. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. Jackson's got his first bucket in this one. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in possession. A massive reason they're winning. This guy hasn't missed a shot. Not one. Here's Halliburton. The rebound by the Bucks. 23 seconds left in the first half. Middleton passes to Lillard. Shot clock at six. Pass to Beasley. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Doc Rivers. And, Coach, you guys came out aggressive in the first half. What stood out to you? You know, we're getting to the paint and making plays. They're a great team as far as rotation, so we just got to make the right passes. It all starts with attacking the basket. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening. And we're happy to have you here for the halftime show. Well, from Milwaukee, they've put themselves in decent shape to grab that all-important Game 1 victory. So far, they've clearly been the better team controlling the flow. By no means is it a runaway, but they've put themselves in a great position. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bucks? They're going to work in the paint. They're doing a great job. A good portion of their offense was generated inside. Really outperformed their opponent in that aspect. I expect the defense to pack it in a little more in the second half and try to force those guys to stay outside. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Pacers. Well, the best way that they can get back into this game is to show up their rebound. They need to prevent second chance points and fight. I mean, fight to get their own. If they can do that, this game's still within it. Well, that about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, we had a feeling he'd step up in this one. So far, playing at the top of his game when they really need him. Still interesting to see if in this second half he can find ways to get to those same spots. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. On the floor for Indiana. Pascal Siakam out there with Neesmith. Then it's Halliburton. Then there's Miles Turner. And it's Nimhard in at the two. Here's Neesmith. Here's Nimhard. Pass to Turner. Count it and the foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. Nice focus on the finish. Turner making sure he did everything he could to muscle it in. At the line for the Pacers, Miles Turner, one shot. for Turner. And so Middleton will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by four. Doesn't go. That's his fifth miss out of ten tries. The Pacers shooting at about 44% so far. And that's a foul. Called on Pat Connaughton. That's his first foul of the game. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Burden with the ball. Fires from deep. Oh, yes! 
sir. Halliburton from deep. Steady from behind the three-point line. Halliburton is someone you rely on to knock down a few threes. A nice shot by Lillard. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big time play. High post Siakam. On the Kupos there. Siakam pass to Demar. Back to Siakam. Just five on the clock. A rebound by the Bucks. Anacupo's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Oh, look at Giannis yeah. power in. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Here's Nimhart, covered by Connaughton. Lillard against Halliburton. Pass to Neesmith. And again! It's the Pacers from deep. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Now Middleton. On to Kumpo. Left side. For three. What a make. Giannis for three. These teams are finding the range. Showing a lot of Seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. Ana Kumpo surveys. Three-pointer is up. Middleton, good. And Ana Kumpo gets the assist. And now an eight-point Bucks lead. Halliburton outside. That three's off the mark. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Halliburton against Lillard. Kumpo takes the contact and scores. Oh. They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. You look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a contribution. They know they need to change things up and do it quickly. They cannot allow him to keep running wild. So it's the Pacers now. It's a 10-point game. Halliburton outside. Pass to McConnell. Will it go? Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got his third assist of the night. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Now here's Middleton. He's got 13. No mistake about it. Middleton rising up that time for a vicious dunk. And here's Turner. McConnell lays it up and banks it in. McConnell's got nine. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Down low. Halliburton with a steal. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. And they're doing strong on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Halliburton. Halliburton, one of those guys who's always on his toes and plays the offensive end with a ton of energy. Now here's Middleton. 
He's got 15. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Beverly, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Now, into the lineup for your box. Patrick Beverly. Indiana's gone three of four from outside in the second half. To the inside, Halliburton. Look at Halliburton converting through contact. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Middleton outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Connaughton. Rebounded by Halliburton. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. McConnell against Lillard. McConnell passes to Siakam. Over Middleton. Siakam, no good. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. The shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Here's Middleton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's why Middleton gets the respect from the teammates here. Adept at getting to the free throw line and attacking the inside. No good on the free throw. Middleton improving his game, improving his confidence, coming back after injury, and working to become better. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Beasley comes in for Connaughton. And he sinks the second. For Indiana, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. McConnell passes to Smith. Now here's Halliburton. From outside, off the mark. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you gotta like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Halliburton punch it in. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Damian Lillard picks one up. There are times when you want your guards to be aggressive, and Halliburton there with a great take. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bucks. They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far they have done an excellent job exploiting it. And they've also done a great job of just taking what the defense is giving them. Teams willing to give up a mid-range, take them, knock them down. They've done it. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Bucks. Both free throws good for Halliburton. Milwaukee in the lead. Beverly, the pass to Middleton. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Middleton's got 18 points in the game. Focus from Chris Middleton like he'd been there before. I don't know if he saw the defense. The results were good. Pass to Halliburton. Going inside. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Gallinari with it. Halliburton picks him up. Gallinari's shot is off. Indiana's gone 3 of 5 from downtown here in the second half. Here's Smith. And he jams it home with authority. Pretty fundamental play there from Obi Toppin. Getting it to the wide open shooter. Pass to Beasley. Here's Beverly. Here's Gallinari. Banked it in off the glass. Give him eight points now. Great use of the bounce pass. Thumbs down on that one. Tough to defend against. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Now here's Middleton. 18 points for him. Pass to Beverly. Beasley with it. The three. And Toppin pulls it down. The ball's knocked loose. Beverly with it. And it's Toppin picking him up. 
There's something about Beverly. He seems to be one of the point guards who enjoys the physical contact out there, always looking for something. At the line for Milwaukee, Patrick Beverly. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Two shots. Free throw good from Beverly. One of the better perimeter defenders in the game and in the golden age of scoring point guards, Patrick Beverly doing his best to slow them down on a nightly basis. So he makes one of two and the second one misses. The Pacers have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. And it's Halliburton who gets it to go inside. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Here's Gallinari. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second person. Oh man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for two. Pedro Gallinari. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The Pacers making a switch here. Nimhart's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Indiana trailing here. McConnell outside. That's and it looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Milwaukee has gone 3 of 5 from downtown here in the second half. McConnell against Beverly. Pass to Middleton. Over Toppin. And Toppin pulls it down. And for the Pacers, they're shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Can't be lazy around Patrick Beverly. He's going to get you down low with hands. That time, he blocks a shot. The Pacers shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Here's Nimhart. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. And he slams it in one-handed. Well, if you're open, Patrick Beverly is going to do his best to get you the ball. McConnell outside. Pass to Smith. Here's the three. Connects from downtown. Smith's got seven points in the game. You've got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Beverly shot off. Indiana has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job in help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Now here's Beasley. Uses the glass on the layup. Six points for him. Well, for a guy who does a lot of his work on the perimeter, Beasley gets into the beat of it. Here's Nimhart. He's started by Beasley. McConnell outside. Six on the shot clock. Shot is up. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Nimhart's gotten four this quarter. Now here's Middleton. He's covered closely. Pass to Toppin. Now here's McConnell. Beverly defending. From the baseline. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Bucks ahead. Up by five. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports.
And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. Giannis and Lopez together down low. Damian Lillard out there with Pat Connaughton. And it's Beasley in at the three. A small forward. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. I like how Siakam uses his body control to adjust to what the defense is doing. Moving for Indiana. That's Val Siakam. Taking a two shot. good from Siakam. They're doing some good work at the line this half. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Milwaukee in the lead. And here's Beasley. Lillard outside. Oh, Lillard laces in a three. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Pass to Siakam. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Here's Lillard. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo's got three assists tonight. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! Ooh Cooking it up down low. It's spicy pea. Lopez finds Beasley. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Pass to Siakam. the glass to finish the layup. Siakam's got six here in the quarter. Oh, an aggressive move there by Siakam. Using the length to finish inside. Here's Lillard. Here's Connaughton. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Halliburton against Lillard. Here's Siakam. Not a lot of room. Just five to shoot. Lopez with the steal. Inside. That shot off the mark. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Lopez with the steal. To the paint. Here's Beasley. The layup misses. Gotta appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And the Bucks making a change here. Middleton's checked in. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. For Milwaukee, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Middleton. Goes back up. And he takes it up and lays it in. Middleton's got ten points in just the second half. Chris Middleton can make contributions by using his frame to be a good rebounder. Good effort there. Pass to Turner from deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. And here's Connaughton. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. And Connaughton. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
throw good. Connaughton. Both free throws good for Connaughton. Here's McConnell. Pass to Turner. Now here's McConnell. Five to shoot. Milwaukee with the rebound. kupo has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Connaughton can't hit. There's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Second chance effort gets the bucket and the foul. Damian Lillard picks one up. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. Andrew Nembhard. Lillard with a ball for Milwaukee. Pass to Middleton. Shoots over Neesmith. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Here's Turner. And no good. Good D by Kupo. Here's Lillard. Pacers with a rebound. Siakam's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to McConnell. Back to Siakam. Oh, it makes it with the kiss. That's unlockable. Unless they can get a bigger man on him, got to learn your lesson. Milwaukee in the lead. Lillard passes to Ananakumpo. There's the drive. Oh, look at Giannis in the lane. Just overpowering folks. Giannis just plays so hard. What's not to like about the approach he has game in and game out? Them hard. The pass to McConnell. No good on the three. Well, that's a shot right there. He's going to hit nine times out of ten. We just saw the 10% he doesn't make. Damn, that one's good. The Pacers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. All right, time for an injury report. Let's get an update on Tyrese Halliburton. What's the status, Al? Thanks. I caught up with the head athletic trainer for the Pacers. We do now know that the ankle is twisted. He's trying to walk it off, but we have no further information at this time. And this team is hoping to contend with a tough first-round matchup, so I'm sure they're anxious to get back to full strength. Back to you, guys. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him, and now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Lillard against McConnell. Over Lillard. Rejected by Lopez. His shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find the rhythm? Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I and mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. And they'll keep possession. Indiana again missing. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and yes. still at zero here in the second. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Now here's McConnell. Pass to Siakam. Over on an Akumpo. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Middleton. The rebound by Neesmith. Indiana's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by McConnell. Well, that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. 
And Lillard puts up a deep three. The rebound by Neesmith. Neesmith's got six rebounds here tonight. McConnell finds Turner. Back to McConnell. To the wing on the left. Clock at six. They still need this. Nimhar. Good. Nimhar's got five points now this quarter. He's trying to will this team back into it. Doing all he can offensively. Puts it up. Lillard can't get it to go. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey. Force him off the spot. You can see the length come into play. Whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. Taking two shots. That's good from Siakam. Siakam hits them both. Milwaukee has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Lillard against McConnell. Lillard passes to Connaughton. Now here's on Kumpo. Tight defense on him. Back to Connaughton. Tries again. And the layup is good. And the Bucks lead by 11. And the vision of the Greek streak, they're able to pick out the opening. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. McConnell left side. Here's Siakam. That one's good. Siakam. On the assist from McConnell. Siakam's McConnell. got 12 points in just the second half. Now Lillard. Shoots over McConnell. And again with the rebound. He hauls in his 20th rebound. Oh, just dominating the class. Hard to get upset at the defense there. Atentacumbo is no easy matchup down low in the paint. Second free throw, no good. Tough break there. Siakam, pass to Halliburton. Over Lillard, and it's Indiana scoring again. There's so much about Halliburton that shows that he plays well beyond his years. Here's Anadokounmpo. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Anadokounmpo has got 32 points. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Trailing by 10. And blocked with his palm. What a defensive play. And capturing the series momentum up front. This is a monster game one win for the Bucks. Boy, this was one physical game, guys. <laughs> they obviously felt that was an advantage of theirs coming in. And they were able to be relentless inside as a result. And they have to be pleased with how they got this series started tonight. A nice 1-0 lead. The key now is to carry the same energy forward and get that second win. These are the playoffs, so you can't afford to relax or think you've got the series in the bag. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And this was a showcase night of his skills offensively. Now here's Halliburton. Can't cash in the 10-footer. Pass to Lillard. So this
this one belongs to the Bucks, And it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Giannis, an impressive performance. Talk about what this game showed you about your team. Well, this game was great. I think everybody came out ready. Everybody played great. We were moving the ball. We knocked down shots. But most importantly, we were playing great defense. But at the end of the day, it's just a win. We got to build off this. We got to go back to the gym, watch film, and get better. It's just one piece of a greater goal. That's right. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.